Hey, what is going on guys? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to unlock the bootloader root and load a custom recovery for the HTC Google Nexus 9 tablet. Um, in case someone does not want to load a custom recovery, um, because if you load a custom recovery, you cannot receive official Android updates from Google. Um, you can actually skip that procedure. Uh, but I'll be showing you how to get all that done in this video, uh, whether you want to have a custom recovery or not. But uh, you must have an unlocked bootloader and your device will be rooted. Um, only if you have an unlocked bootloader. So I'm going to show you how to get the unlocked bootloader and rooted procedure done no matter what. And also the custom recovery, which is optional. Um, so the first thing is to mention is that all credits and thanks goes to Workfresh on XDA developers. This is the developer of this procedure. And what I suggest you do is go to this web page. I'll put a link to this website in the video description. A register, it doesn't take very long, or just log in. Hit the thanks button for all their hard work. And better yet, donate to them. Um, because they do update this program of theirs a lot. In fact, I've been using it probably since the Nexus 4 and it's still always been updated um, consistently. So, uh, not only that, by attempting to follow the instructions in this video, should something go wrong, you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, you take no responsibility, so be following the instructions in this video at your own risk. Furthermore, I am not a developer, so if you have any technical questions, please do not ask me. I most likely won't respond because I'm not a developer. I wouldn't know how to help you. Uh, if you have any technical questions, again, ask in this forum. Uh, the people are pretty good at responding. Um, but what I suggest you do before asking for help, search in case someone has searched for the exact same thing maybe that you are wondering about. Okay, so this will actually wipe everything on your device. You will lose everything. So what I suggest you do if you have any pictures or audio on your tablet, now's the time to back it up and put it on your computer because this will wipe everything. Um, so what you want to do is actually a couple things. First thing I guess you can do is, um, it doesn't matter which order, but anyway, download the program. So again, on this same web page, which I have a, a link to in the video description, uh, you're going to go down on the first post. This might change in the future if they change this post, but uh, you're basically looking for something like download link in the first or second post. Click it, you're going to end up at this web page, and you're going to see how many different Nexus devices are supported. Uh, this program is fantastic. So I'm using the Nexus 9 Wi-Fi version. I think there might be an LTE version being released, and if there is, the developer may add it to this list in the future. So be sure to check back con uh, consistently if you're wondering about that. You can scroll down a bit, and you're going to see download. Click one of the download links. If you have a, a countdown timer you have to go through, just let it count down. Um, download it, install it. And at this point, what we're going to do is get the tablet ready. So in order to get it ready, you're going to go to your system settings menu. And I suggest you turn the screen time off a little bit longer. So it's under display and change it to like 30 minutes or something. It doesn't matter. You don't want it to go sleep too quickly uh, during this procedure. And make sure you have a decent battery charge, at least, I don't know, like 25% or more. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. If you do not have developer options here, which we need, what you need to do to get it is tap about tablet and go to the bill number and tap it repeatedly. You'll get a countdown. It says now you are now a developer, go back. And here you have developer options now. Right, so we need to unlock the bootloader. Um, okay, I don't know why that was checkmarked, but in order to unlock the bootloader first, remember if you want to root and load a custom recovery, you need to do this. You need to checkmark enable OEM unlock. Okay, so that's checkmark. The next thing you need to do is enable USB debugging. So you're gonna checkmark that as well, press okay. At this point, you're going to connect your uh, tablet to your computer with the USB cord that came with your tablet. Okay, so with USB debugging mode on, you're going to connect it to your uh, computer, the tablet I mean, and you're going to open that program you just installed. And if it is your first time running this, it's, I think something like this will show up, and it'll ask you what type of device are you connecting. Um, you want to input the correct thing, so we're running a Nexus 9, and you're going to find your um, version and build number. This is under the About Tablet screen I showed you guys just earlier on, um, where you can find the Android version you're running. So make sure your Android version and build number matches whatever is here. And then after that, again, if this is your first time running this program, it's going to download a whole bunch of things. Just let it do that in the background, and uh, you can come back, maybe just go for a coffee or something. And um, so since we have the device connected to the computer in USB debugging mode, if for some reason, say for example Windows 7, you get a pop-up here saying, um, device not configured properly or drivers not installed, there's a way to fix that. And that fix is actually found here under full driver installation guide. 
you're gonna follow these instructions. It looks like a lot of writing, but it's actually not that much. And this program actually does a lot of the work for you. Um, so by following the instructions, you should be able to get your computer recognized, uh, recognizing your tablet while it's in USB debugging mode. Furthermore, if you want to relock the bootloader, uh, load the stock recovery back and unroot your device, I'll have another video explaining and showing how to get that done. You can find a link to that video in the video description. Something I need to mention is that you can still receive Android updates if your device has an unlocked bootloader and you're rooted. If you have a custom recovery, you will not receive Android updates from Google. It won't work. It won't load for you. Um, so if you want to receive updates from Google, do not load a custom recovery. But custom recovery will allow you to install custom ROMs like CyanogenMod. And if your device, if you choose to root it after unlocking the bootloader, you can install Android updates, but whenever you do install a new update from Google, it'll wipe your root access and you'll have to use this program to reroute, which is very quick. It's, it's a very fast procedure. Once you do this the first time, it's easy to learn. So assuming all your drivers installed properly, uh, you might get this screen on your computer while the program's up and started. Just uh, uh, press always allow and then press OK. So what you want to do now is again backup in case you haven't done it yet there's a backup option here which I've never used because my tablet has nothing uh, you can test it if you want but we're gonna unlock the bootloader first because it is a requirement to root and load a custom recovery or either or both so you can click unlock it's basically saying that your device is gonna be um, wiped you have to enable USB debugging mode and OEM unlock which I just did and showed you guys how to do click OK now it's saying that you can actually put your device manually into bootloader mode or automatically I prefer for the program to do that, so I'm going to click automatically. So in order to do that, I have to press yes. And it's going to restart the device. And um, this procedure might take a little while, and we'll continue from there. Okay, so after waiting about a minute, it's telling you that something should have popped up on your tablet, and it has. Uh, basically, you have to select the up volume button to unlock the bootloader. If you change your mind at this point, you can press the down volume button to cancel and just restart the tablet. So I want to unlock the bootloader. So I'm going to press the up volume button, which is here on the side. Um, this is a bit hard with holding the camera, so just bear with me. And I pressed it, and it might take about a few seconds to load, and there you go. It's now loading. It might reboot a couple more times, so we'll continue after it's done. Okay, so the tablet restarted a couple times, and I ended up at this white screen yet again. And um, it does say that I have an unlocked bootloader, but it's not doing anything. So I have to manually reboot it. So in order to do that, because it's just hanging on the screen, I assume if you have the same problem, uh, you'll have to manually boot it. So we're gonna use the volume buttons to navigate through this uh, set of options. So I'm gonna press the down volume button to select reboot. And now to actually activate reboot, I'm gonna press the power button. And it should restart the device. At this point, your device has been completely wiped. Uh, it should have booted with this little Android logo saying something like erasing. And uh, you'll have a pop-up on the computer saying what to do in USB debugging mode and whatnot. You can actually just close this at this point. And if you're just if you just want to unlock the bootloader, you're done. Now, if you want to root or load a custom recovery uh, or both rather, um, at this point, this is what we're gonna do. Is basically you're gonna set up your Gmail account and whatnot, or you can just skip all that and just get straight into getting the device ready for modification. So uh, once this is done loading up, which may take a while, we'll continue. Okay, so the final step is to root the device and load a custom recovery or only root, depending on what you want. So you're going to go back to your system settings menu. And I have to reactivate developer options. So I'm going to tap about tablet and key tapping build number. Countdown says you are not developer. Go back. Select developer options. And here I'm going to select USB debugging. Press OK. And I still, oh, uh, sorry. And it's asking for permission. I'm gonna click always allow, okay. And you might get the media pop up, media devices connected on your computer. You can close that. And um, my device is still connected to the computer since the initial time I connected it. I haven't disconnected it once and you don't really have to either. So at this point you can select to root and load a custom recovery or only root, but you must have an unlock bootloader. So I'm gonna select both, uh, whatever you choose is up to you and click root. So it's basically saying it's going to overwrite stock Android. Um, so you need to unlock bootloader. Press OK if you're ready and you have all that accomplished already. Okay, so the device restarted numerous times, like many, many times. Uh, just be very patient. And when it's done, uh, the one thing we want to do now is confirm we have root. So here if I open super SU, um, I see that it's working just fine. 
And the next thing to do is to get BusyBox set up and just configure one tiny little thing. As you can see, it's asking for root access and grant it. So I've just confirmed that I now have root up and running. And in the BusyBox settings, what we're going to do is make sure that the installation path is set to system slash xbin. <clears throat> and you're just going to select install. And it should say installation was successful. And that's it. Your device is set and ready to go. So the device has a custom recovery, an unlock bootloader, and it has been rooted. Again, if you want to know how to relock the bootloader, load stock recovery, and unroot the device, again, you can find a link to that video in the video description. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter links, also in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.